me poppin', I'm a blossom I don't need a bop, mine to my robbery I'm official, on a dotty You can hit a room, room in my robbery I'm not sorry, no, I'm not sorry It's official, I'm a problem I don't need a dis- Hey Royals, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tati, aka Tatiana, and I'm a 24 year old entrepreneur slash YouTuber. I'm so excited because we're gonna be starting a new series called Tati University. An idea that was brought to me by one of my subscribers and I'm finally stepping into it. So if you are new here, I own a business called Crown Collections. I'm a learning and growing entrepreneur. I started my business end of July of 2019. I taught myself everything I needed to know and I've been growing and I've been learning. Some of us are just starting out. Some of us are thinking about it, but a little bit scared. Some of us are already in it and just wanna learn more there are going to be a few things that we talk about that help each person in different stages so if you guys have any video requests for this series make sure you let me know down below in the comment section so this video that we're doing today is going to be 10 things that you need to do before you start your business everything that I did everything that I would suggest that you do moving forward the very first thing that I would suggest that you do is just to basically figure out what it is that you're passionate about is it hair is it nails is it clothes is it natural beauty like what is it that relates to you what is it that makes you say I'm gonna need that for the rest of my life you know what I mean I feel like that's the perfect thing to sell something that you personally use on a consistent basis that you know that you will use for the rest of your life so that it makes you the perfect CEO for that product it makes you the perfect person to market that product etc once you figure out what it is that you want to sell at that point I think it's time to create a name for your business that not only represents your product but also represents you I chose the name crown collections because crown being like royalty I wanted to represent that part of me and how I think highly of me and everyone else around me collections because I knew that at the time there were a lot of things that I wanted to sell so I just decided to call it crown collections is what made sense to me and also at one point I had another business a nonprofit that has a similar name and I wanted to keep the tradition going this part is really 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 important to me it's not typically that high on other people's list and things that you need to do when starting a business but it was very it was one of the first things that I did and I don't regret it I went online for my state and basically registered my business before I officially registered my business I first did a check to make sure no one else owned the name for securing it and paying the money to register my business as well as purchase my LLC I decided to take a step back I went on to Instagram I searched and made sure that there was no page called crown collections already because I didn't want to have to do crown dot collections I didn't want to have to do crown underscore collections I wanted simply crown collections so once I saw that that name was available I quickly created an Instagram account and I did the same for other social media so TikTok, Twitter Facebook you just want to make sure that you're able to secure your name you don't already purchase the LLC and then you find out wow I can't even use that socials I also checked and made sure that I was able to have full ownership of my domain name so a lot of people have questions about the domain name and like the website and I'll make sure to do a part in this series about websites domains and all that as well you also want to create a business email because you don't want to use your personal email when conducting business I just think it's really important to make sure that on every single platform you're able to secure your name so that you're not backtracking or spending more money in the long run so at this point another important thing that you want to make sure that you go ahead and do is register your business with the IRS this is important for tax purposes so that you're able to separate your taxes with your business the IRS is fully aware of your business as well as the taxes and they can keep track of everything because one thing you don't want to play with baby is the IRS they don't play okay I don't play about my money but the IRS really don't play about their money so you want to make sure that the IRS is there from the very beginning they know everything they need to know they're able to track it so at the end of the day the only thing that you have to do is submit everything that you need to submit and you're all done and another reason that it's important to register your business with the IRS is for EIN purposes and the EIN number is associated with your business well it's important when you're attempting to set up a business account which we're going to talk about next it's important sometimes when you're trying to work with specific vendors um, because some vendors actually don't allow you to work with them unless you have an official EIN number also the website platforms that you choose to work with whether that be Wix Shopify etc they also require that you provide an EIN number as well so the next thing that we're going to do is talk about setting up a business account 
So I'm going to be honest, when I first started my business, I did not set up a business account. Everything went through my personal as well as my savings account. I've always been a person that's really good at separating my money and saving and just being like very strategic when it comes to those things. So I thought that I would be a-okay. I never really thought twice about it until at the time I was on the Wix platform and eventually they told me that I would not be able to proceed with my website and my business if I did not provide them with a business account information. So at that point I basically went over to my bank and had a meeting with my bank and they were just telling me like okay what will work best for me and then he also actually ended up talking me into getting a business credit card which is the best thing. It's been perfect because like not only have I been able to use and build my business credit but it's also been pretty awesome that I've been able to like also uh, stack up points. So I spend the most money on my business okay. I spend money like there's me there's my bills there's me and then there's my business like I spend so much money on my business and I will never regret that I'm not ashamed to say that I spend tons and tons I love it it's liberating because it's just an investment into myself and <laughs> I deserve it okay it was very easy for me to set up the account it was really easy for me to be approved for my business credit but if you do feel like you don't have enough credit or you're afraid to try and set up a business account with your set bank another thing that you can really look into would be credit unions i hear that credit unions are really really great for small businesses they're really open to helping and providing services for small businesses so that's something that you can go ahead and look into as well another important reason why it's good to have a business account is just again when it comes for tax season it's really easy to separate what you spent on what what money went where how much you earned how much you spent it's really easy come tax season to break that down versus like what i originally did in the beginning where i was using my personal account and don't do it it's not do it okay so speaking of bank account as well another important thing that you should look into get into would be bookkeeping bookkeeping is something that you can do on your own you can use apps such as quickbooks just to keep up with it or you can actually hire someone to do bookkeeping for you as well to have a clear vision of where everything is going where where things need to be placed etc it just keeps you organized and better off in the long run so now that we've got all of those things out of the way we kind of step into more so of the fun part you can start to purchase things for your business your shirts are coming in your jewelry's coming in your containers any and everything that you need for your business and don't go overboard don't buy a hundred of everything yet just like you know start small just to figure out how things sell what people love more etc but just begin to buy things so that you can take your product photos and things like that and you can test your products and you can figure out okay just kidding I don't want to sell that okay yes I'm definitely keeping this this is the product of the month etc so the part for me that was really exciting was building your website whether you pay someone to build your website for you or whether you do that on your own I personally took the DIY route at some point I do believe that I'm going to have someone come back behind me and create me a more professional looking website or I'll just really take the time now with my newer knowledge and better content creating skills and just upgrade my website but as of now like I said I did create my website on my own I first had a website on the Wix platform but I am now with Shopify if you guys want like a Wix slash Shopify video let me know and I'll definitely go ahead and do my research and put my personal opinions and touches on the video as well this is the time to be creative then another thing that you want to do is go ahead and sit down and basically create like a content marketing plan what do I want to do how do I want to market how hard do I want to market and this was another thing that I did not do but I wish I did and I'm you know pulling into my business now sit down and really just take the time to figure out how you want to market yourself how you want to market your products and things like that once you sit down and make a plan and stick to it people will gravitate towards that people will know okay when I see this I know it's her make sure you're sticking to something like that so that people can come to you purchase something and come back become a returning subscriber returning customer because you've now created this platform for yourself where everything makes sense last but surely not least the last thing that I personally want to talk about is going to be trademarking and then I also just want to give you guys a little bit of insight about trademarking when it's necessary when it's not and then a tip so I'm going to be reading this directly from my iPad because this is a comment that I actually found um, when I was reading an article that someone left and I just basically thought that it would be really interesting for me to share this with you all as well so basically this person said that they learned this tip from their lawyer teacher when they were in law school and they um, wanted to share it for those people who are starting out and wanted to direct their budget on something that they find more important because registering a trademark can be a very 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 expensive process and I also know that it's a very long process as well okay so they had an instructor who 
is a lawyer for intellectual property in parentheses legal stuff you can get to for for your work um, and she teaches a class on that exact subject in college in a college that this person went to her professor mentioned that you do not in all caps have to pay to trademark your logo because once you create it it's your work so in order to protect yourself from someone else taking your logo, you can simply add the TM, which I'll put on the screen, symbol next to it and you're good to go. Now, if you want to make it a registered trademark at that point, you will go ahead and pay the fee and the symbol would then be changed to the R symbol. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that tip with someone because like they said, it can be a very, very extensive process. I really and truly hope that this video was helpful for anyone who's thinking about starting a business. I just want to wish everyone the best of luck in your journeys. It is the beginning of a new year, 2020. One, it's our year it's always our year honestly we just get bigger and better each year feel free to comment down any ideas that you want me to talk about in these series i'm so excited about it if you're new to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button give me a huge thumbs up comment down below any questions comments concerns video suggestions and all that good stuff tell me your thoughts if there's anything that i missed that you would suggest people to do put that down in the comment section below as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye